Uh, my name is Ronnie. I would like to tell you a little bit what I did at Def Jam. Um, first of all, my project was a little bit bigger than anything else, so I decided to follow rule 32, enjoy the little things. Uh, first of all, uh, what we did this week, uh, we uh, enabled CircleCI on the MQTT plugin with Crack. So um, the basic idea is um, getting anything ready to release stuff. Um, and uh, what we basically achieved is uh, we use master for releases. Um, we have version numbers which are driven from the POM file. Um, GitHub releases from master go to a car file which is published on the GitHub release page. And uh, any other branches get car artifacts delivered in CircleCI, so you can download from there. The links um, are below, and then uh, that's basically what we achieved for the MQTT plugin. A different thing I worked on is the diff tool. Um, I did a talk on Monday about uh, Docker Compose and how to mangle these crazy diff commands and um, that was, I think, the easiest way to do, just wrap it in a script. And that's basically what we did. Um, so we created a little um, bash script config diff. It's delivered in the bin directory. If you call it, you can give it a pass to um, an OpenMS config file, and you can give it a pass to an Etsy pristine file. And the idea was um, even if you have other systems, you get configs uh, from yeah, various versions and you can just point it to the directories and just um, diff it. And the output is basically something like that. It basically gives you the output of uh, these are the configuration files which are just in the Etsy file which you have created. These are the ones which are modified and the other ones is all the files which are in pristine and not in your config and it helps you a little bit if you get stuff. Um, other than that, spend some time uh, with our OCI uh, based images and um, prepared a little bit uh, the container images to be able to um, install from targz files. So um, basically, when you run a Docker build, um, the logic right now is um, try to use a targz file first. If there is none, uh, look into the RPMs directory and local uh, install it from local RPMs. And if there are no local RPMs, go to the public mirrors and install it from there. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for letting me share. <laughs>